Since the first AI website builder drop, it feels like a new one pops up every single month and each of them advertises one-click websites. But choosing the wrong one can mean hours of extra work and fixing things the AI should have sorted out. So to save you from that headache, I went ahead and tested all the most popular AI website builders and a few of them actually stood out. So today, I'm taking the best performing builders and putting them head to head to find out which one truly deserves the number one spot. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly which builder you should use, explained in the simplest and clearest way possible, so you don't waste a single minute. To make this comparison fair, I'm grading each builder using the exact same five criteria. First, ease of use and productivity, meaning how fast you can build your website and how simple the whole process is. Then looks and quality, because if the design comes out badly, it is simply not worth using the tool. After that, we'll look at features and flexibility to see how much more you can do with the tool beyond just prompting it to build a basic site. Then we'll test scalability to see how well each builder supports real growth instead of boxing you in later. And finally, we'll look at price and worth to see if you're actually getting good value for your money. For each criteria, the tool will have the opportunity to receive a score from 1 to 10. Then we're going to sum up all the points they get and declare the final winner. And you would want to stick around for the final result because it will honestly surprise you. So let's start with the first tool, Hostinger. Hostinger is mostly known as a web hosting tool, but it offers a really good website builder. And what I really like is that even with all the super useful features they're adding, the platform stays incredibly easy to navigate. If you want the AI website builder, you just open the marketplace on the left, scroll a little, and there it is. Simple, clean, and instantly accessible, which already gives you a smooth start before you even begin building. Once you click into it, you're met with a prompt window. So let's generate our website. For this tutorial, I'm using the brand name NextGen AI Academy, and I'll use the same prompt across all builders to keep it fair. Hostinger instantly gives a quality score for your description, which can really help with productivity because it shows whether the AI has enough information to create something accurate. You don't waste time generating a bad site and redoing it later. There's also a small icon offering extra features based on your prompt. Once the prompt is ready, you click continue and Hostinger starts generating the website. The generation is fast and as soon as it finishes, you're taken straight into the main editor where Hostinger as a platform really stands out. Everything is designed to be straightforward and genuinely helpful. At the top, you get a setup checklist that shows your progress so you always know what to do next. On the left, the elements panel gives you quick access to everything you need text blocks, images, buttons, forms, without digging through complicated menus. And the AI tab gives you a wide range of AI tools built directly into the editor. Overall, the experience feels clear and easy to work with, built for people who want to get their website live quickly without fighting the tool. Hostinger clearly focused on making the builder feel simple. That's why it gets eight points for ease of use and productivity. Now let's check out the looks and quality. And while looks can be subjective, quality definitely isn't. What this site has right out of the gate is genuinely impressive quality. Everything is clickable, every section works the way it should, and I can move through almost anything on the screen without hitting broken elements or any odd AI mistakes. The entire layout feels very well made. The images actually fit the concepts of the website, none of them look obviously AI generated or out of place, and the structure feels intentional from top to bottom. I personally really like how the website looks, there are very few things that stand out to me as wrong or bad looking. And the elements that don't start out clickable are still extremely easy to link and edit. If I click this button, I can instantly change the text, adjust the style, or link it to any web address or page I want. This is a big deal because many AI builders generate nice looking layouts, but the functionality ends up being messy or hard to adjust. Everything is clean, flexible, and easy to modify, which makes the builder strong in both appearance and real usability. So in terms of looks and quality, Hostinger does a genuinely great job. For this category, I'm giving it an 8. Now where this tool actually shines the most is in features and flexibility. As I already mentioned, it comes with a wide range of genuinely useful AI tools and the editing experience is incredibly smooth. You can click on any single part of the website, hit edit and adjust anything you don't like. It gives you full control without feeling complicated, which is exactly what you want from an AI builder. The AI does the heavy lifting, but you still have the freedom to shape everything the way you imagine. Inside the features panel, you'll find some of the coolest AI tools I've seen in any website builder. One that really stands out is the AI SEO Assistant. It's extremely easy to use and actually generates solid SEO content instead of generic filler. If you open it and select the home page, you can click generate new SEO info, describe what the page is about, and then move to the next step where you get to choose three keywords that fit your website. I'm selecting these three here. After that, you click continue and the tool starts generating SEO optimized content around those keywords. This matters because a lot of people don't know how to do SEO the right way. And if it's done wrong, your site can become almost invisible 
valuable for anyone trying to find it online. Here the AI basically does the hard part for you. Once the SEO is generated, Hostinger even marks the homepage with a check mark, so you instantly know that the page is optimized. It's simple, it's fast, and it gives you confidence that the whole thing is actually set up correctly. So overall, I'd say this is one of the most flexible and feature-packed tools I've ever seen for AI website building. Everything feels powerful, but still simple to use, and that combination is rare. That's why I'm giving this category a 10 out of 10. Now let's check out scalability. This is one of the spots where Hostinger really shows its strengths. The platform is built on cloud hosting, which means you can easily upgrade resources like CPU, memory, and storage as your website grows. Whether you're getting more traffic, uploading more content, or expanding into new pages, your site won't slow down or lose performance. Hostinger also gives your website dedicated resources, so if you get a sudden spike in traffic, the site stays stable instead of crashing. Their cloud infrastructure scales automatically, which helps maintain strong uptime and fast loading speeds even as your audience increases. In simple terms, your website stays online, reliable, and fast, which is exactly what you want when you start getting real traction. And when it comes to upgrading plans, Hostinger makes it incredibly straightforward. You can adjust your plan inside the dashboard in just a few clicks, but I'll talk more about the price in the next section. Finally, Hostinger has worldwide data centers, and with server locations spread across the world, you can choose the one closest to your audience. This reduces latency and keeps your website loading quickly as it grows, no matter where your visitors are coming from. So in terms of scalability, it gets a 10 from me. Now finally, let's talk about the pricing. What I love most about Hostinger is how well it's priced, especially if you're planning to use the platform over the long term. If you choose a longer commitment, you can get the most advanced plan for as little as $3 a month, which is honestly insane for the amount of value you get. Now of course, the trade-off is that you have to commit for 48 months to get that price. But even if you go with the standard monthly subscription, Description, it still comes out to around $14 a month, and that is by no means overpriced for a full AI website builder with this many features. And if you choose anything above a 12-month plan, you actually get a free domain as well. That means your website is ready to go with your own domain from day one without any extra purchases or setup headaches. Hostinger also includes almost all of its major features across the different plans, which we've already covered, the AI builder, the AI logo maker, the SEO assistant, the cloud hosting foundation, all of it. So overall, there are very few things in the pricing department that let it down. The only real reason it might not be worth it for you is if you personally dislike the design style that Hostinger generates. But for me, considering everything you get, I give Hostinger a 9 out of 10 for price and worth. So let's look at the report card. Right now, Hostinger has a total of 45 out of 50 points, which makes it extremely hard for anything else on this list to keep up. Hostinger starts off very strong here, and the next builders will have to bring something impressive to top that result. Next, we'll take a look at Replit, which is also a fairly established established website builder. So let's jump straight into ease and productivity. When you open Replit, you're met with this page where you can enter your prompt, choose what you're building, and the generation starts right away. It's simple and doesn't require much setup, which makes it easy to begin the process. Now, in terms of speed, it definitely takes longer than Hostinger. Once the initial generation is done, you're given the choice to either build the entire app or start with just the design. Since we're testing all tools fully, I'm choosing to generate the entire thing. From here, Replit starts to lose a bit of momentum because the full build can take up to 20 minutes to complete. It does work, but the wait is clearly longer compared to the other builders. After the generation is complete, you can switch between phone layouts and desktop view really easily which is helpful for checking responsiveness. But for me, the long generation time removes a lot of the smoothness you get in the beginning. It's usable, but the slow processing time makes everything feel less productive. So for ease of use and productivity, I'm giving Replit a 6 out of 10. Now for looks and quality, the website Replit generates is actually pretty well done. It has a modern feel to it, and I genuinely like the overall design. You can also switch between light mode and dark mode, which is a nice touch and something not every builder offers. Most of the elements you can click on are fully clickable, and the structure feels stable. However, compared to Hostinger, it's not as easy to change things. You can edit elements, but the process isn't as smooth or as flexible, and you don't get the same immediate control over every part of the layout. Overall though, the website still looks good, and the quality of the output is definitely there. So for this category, I'm giving Replit a 9 out of 10 for quality. Features is also where Replit starts to fall behind compared to Hostinger. You don't get many specific built-in features. This makes the workflow a bit less straightforward and definitely harder when you want to make quick, precise changes. You do have the option to adjust the website's overall look. If you click on theme, you can change colors and fonts pretty easily. But beyond those broader style settings, you don't get much of the deeper customization or element by element editing. So Replit gets a five out of 10 because the tool doesn't really give you a lot to work with. Now let's talk about scalability. Replit does let you 
you deploy apps and websites using its built-in hosting, and they offer a few different deployment options. However, Replit has fairly strict limits on CPU, memory, and storage depending on the plan you're on. These limits apply per app, and once you exceed them, your app may become unavailable or fail certain operations altogether. From everything I've seen in my research, Replit tends to work well for smaller projects, prototypes, and low traffic sites. But once you move into larger scale applications or even moderate spikes in traffic, it starts running into performance issues pretty quickly. So because of those limitations, Replit scores a 4 out of 10. Replit gives you the option to choose between monthly or yearly plans, but it doesn't offer anything longer than a 12-month commitment. On the monthly plans, you have the core and team tiers priced at $25 and $40 respectively. Coming right after Hostinger, the value just isn't as strong for what you get. Even if the app looks nicer to some people at the start, I still don't see it as worth the price when you look at the limitations and the way the generation times slow down. So for this category, I'm giving Replit a 6 out of 10. So let's take a look at Replit's final score. With 6 points in ease of use, 9 for looks and quality, 5 for features, 4 for scalability, and 6 for pricing, Replit ends up with a total of 30 out of 50. It's a decent tool for simple projects and quick prototypes, but once you start needing deeper control, faster generation times, or better scaling, it becomes clear that it's not really built for that level of work. But with that being said, let's take a look at what Google offers as an AI website builder. When you first log into the Firebase Studio, you can paste your prompt directly into this field and click prototype with AI. This instantly starts generating the website, so it's very easy to get started. Once the generation is complete, you get your website preview on the left and the control panel on the right where you can change different things. And that's basically it. Firebase keeps things extremely minimal and you don't get access to much beyond the basics. It's simple and doesn't overwhelm you with options. So in terms of ease of use, it performs well because of how straightforward it is. For this section, I'm giving Firebase a 9 out of 10. In terms of looks, Firebase actually gives you a clean design, and it somewhat resembles the style you see in Replit. But something you notice pretty quickly is that the site doesn't really use many images at all. A lot of the sections feel empty or unfinished because there just isn't much visual content to fill them out. The site also doesn't generate many pages. Everything is placed on one long scrollable page, and it doesn't really create a full website structure. The visual style itself is decent, so I'm still giving it a 6 for looks. If you care more about how solid the website is rather than only how it looks, just know that the build quality here doesn't match the level of the other tools. As I've already mentioned, the main feature you get in Firebase is the prompt window on the right, and that's pretty much it. You can ask for different prompts, request changes, and adjust things through that workflow, but you don't really get many tools beyond this. However, there is one feature that does stand out, and it's this button up here on the right. If you click it, you can choose parts of your website right on the page and work on the element you want to change. It sounds good, but wait for the pricing section to see its biggest downside. So for features and flexibility, I'm giving Firebase a 6 out of 10. Let's talk about scalability with Firebase. Since it's managed by Google, you actually get pretty strong scalability. Firebase is built on a cloud-based backend platform with hosting, CDN edge caching, and real-time database syncing, all of which help your site or app handle traffic smoothly. The newer Cloud Firestore database is designed to automatically scale for large applications and real-time updates, while keeping latency low and availability high. While you need to handle a large number of users, at the same time, Firebase is definitely solid. However, it does have limitations. It doesn't handle complex queries as efficiently as some other tools, and there are connection restrictions that can affect certain kinds of projects. But honestly, the biggest issue with scalability here isn't the technology, it's the cost, and that brings us into the pricing section. Before that though, for scalability, it gets a 7 out of 10. The thing with Firebase's pricing is that it isn't as straightforward as having a simple monthly or yearly subscription. Instead, it offers two plans, Spark, which is the free tier, and Blaze, which is a pay-as-you-go model. With Blaze, there is no base fee at all. You only pay for what you use beyond the free quota. Technically, you could stay on Blaze and pay nothing as long as you stay inside those limits, but as soon as you exceed the free usage, a lot of users report unexpectedly high bills. Costs spike quickly when traffic increases, and this can even happen just from making too many changes inside the tool. And this ties back to the feature I mentioned earlier. On the Blaze plan, each prompt and each operation counts toward your usage, which means you're literally paying for the process of editing your website. This pricing setup makes things way more complicated than they have to be. So even though the tool itself is simple, the cost of actually using it can become unpredictable. Because of that, 
that, I'm giving Firebase a 4 out of 10 for pricing and worth. So let's look at Firebase's final result and the full report card. Firebase ends with 32 out of 50, which puts it slightly above Replit's score of 30, but still nowhere near Hostinger's massive lead of 45 out of 50. And now that we've gone through every tool, this final result gives us the answer we were looking for based on everything we've seen, the workflow, the design quality, the editing experience, the AI features, the performance, and the overall value, Hostinger is the clear winner and the best AI website builder platform out there. With Hostinger, you get an AI builder that's fast, accurate, and flexible, packed with tons of genuinely useful tools and supported by cloud hosting that scales with your website without you ever having to worry about anything. You get a setup that is engineered to help you grow, scale, and succeed with your website instead of dealing with unexpected bills or a platform that breaks the moment you get real traffic. And when you get all of this for one of the lowest prices on the market, it becomes an easy decision to make. So if you want to build a simple, clean website in the most efficient way possible, now you know exactly which tool is perfect for that. Hit the link below and start building your website with Hostinger starting today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.